I, I wonder how much sand I can mail before they start asking questions. <laughs> Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most important, I don't know what I just did there. Like, uh, whatever the hell else we come up with. Vin Stone here in beautiful downtown Athens, George. I'll be switching the bits, piloting our little nightmare train, joined every week by the man up north in Toronto, where it's still snowing because he had a show to go to, and that's how fate likes to stick you in the eyeball. Jordan Savong. And the man standing up late past his bedtime on the aisles of Britannia, across Oceania. Not all the way there, man. It's not Oceania. It's, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's half an Oceania. Oceania. Across Atlantis. Yeah, between... Atlantis. <laughs> uh, Disdania. Yes, that is the dulcet tones of one Pedro Mateus. And together with you, Shout Realm Dynamic, joining us live, helping us form cocaine Voltron. Gentlemen, I have learned much to be learned about that Intel card from last week. But before I say anything, I owe... Uh, the person who purchased that card oh. to read the gift note because if you pick up oh. anything for the studio, <laughs> not only do, do, I, do I put you like, oh, you're right here. No, uh, fuck no. This is Linux Gamecast. You're on our wall of shame of fine upstanding cannibals because we love you. That, that lets you know that you are truly fiscally irresponsible, but we do appreciate it. And you get to send it a note with an Amazon thing, which I couldn't find last week. But for our little Intel card, Arthur and says, does this card get get Vin's officially unofficial wax seal of approval, A, my seals are made of arsenic, um, <laughs> of a tear-working question mark, with love, allegedly, from our theory. Arsenic hearts back to you, buddy. Um, <laughs> what, what, what about some old lace hearts? Can it be arsenic lace? Yeah. I am just big on arsenic this evening, man. I'm re really thinking <laughs> I, I, arsenic's I mean, I'm, making I'm, a comeback. I'm, I'm, more, I'm, more, I'm more of a cyanide fellow myself. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of the gum jabar. St sticky with the pointy end. Yeah. It lead coated, so it's delicious when you rub it on your tongue. Oh, dude. Uh, <laughs> the wall candy. If you tuned in on Wednesday, I did a live stream of just, just plugging that card into a uh, rectangle, which is a little thermal note box that I built. And, um, you know, just, just some basic testing, but I was able later that afternoon and the next day to get some real testing. You, you would, I, I don't want to spoil it for you if you didn't see the live stream, but there's some engineering mishaps on that card. And I, uh, just a bunch of things that I've not seen anybody talk about with Intel Arc on Linux. I'm like, oh, 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 and oh, like, and I know people haven't talked about it because when you Google them and you, what, what do you say, Pedro? You duck, duck, go them because you, yes. you make, okay. <laughs> you DDG them. I, I, I bing them. You bing them. Uh, there's no like search results thing. for this yeah. stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess we're going to type it out. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on that. Uh, and I did get out the, um, video for, uh, the NHP one, the family schooler from Noctua. I put that up with a write up super serious, like hyper clinical, no jokes, just nothing but science all the way down. <laughs> Delicious, <laughs> magical science. It's kind of difficult then because, uh, I want to maintain a certain level of jank in anything that we do. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time in order to do that correctly i still got to throw in some stuff where people are like oh oh you're doing that intentionally i'm like yeah i know what i'm doing oh man we're trying to have some fun here so uh that is out over on interfacing linux if you've been curious about that and you're like hey man maybe i want to try this family schooler because all the youtubers put it on uh, cpus that they knew it couldn't cool because that gets more clicks than what i did but you know i get some actual information over there i did try to melt it with a kernel compile though so if you just want to watch that torture test, it is there. Jordan, you survived a snowstorm of ale. Yeah, a snowstorm, an ale storm, and a guy with a, a, real, a really horny guy, actually. He had, like, a <laughs> crown made out of, like, deer horns. But that was, that was one of the opening bands. No, I saw Ale Storm last night. Uh, they're doing their tour of the Dead Marauder, so uh, I caught the show. It was fun. Um, yeah, I haven't been to a metal show since the last one I went to a month ago, but... Hey, I get to do that again. That's that's fun. I've well, got... I hold your Wii. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the we were at this uh, Masonic temple that has like four bathrooms and was like complete. The, the venue was completely sold out too, so it was like completely at capacity. And uh, yeah, the 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 bathroom line was like way longer than the merch line. It was kind of funny. Did uh <laughs> did anybody invent like bathroom corners? No, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> All right. I, I, I'm sure I, the cleaners I, I, I the hope, next day found out. I, I yes. hope not. I, I did. I did like that the mosh pit was crazy enough that Ailstorm had to start playing elevator music to calm them down, and people were still moshing to it. It was great. Nice. 
Pedro, the jumper pack, Mateus. <laughs> jumper cables well, on his nipples, Mateus. On Discord, and apparently, uh, I, I'm the one you suggested. I already have. Oh. It's the uh, the little uh, jumper pack that also works as a um, power bank. <laughs> Did okay. Now here's a question: Did you buy it for the jumper pack? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mine, I bought for the power bank. <laughs> I didn't I, I was looking I did a search for like you know ginormous ion lithium brick with a, a type A and a type C I'm like oh cool it's even got a light on it shows up and it came with a you know nipple clamps and I'm mm-hmm. like I left it alone for like two days we were like alright I gotta see if this works <laughs> <laughs> and I hooked it up and it, uh, it, it spun over turbo jet because I disconnected the terminals I'm like huh that's neat so now it's in the boot I need to buy another one for the intended pur- purpose of having <laughs> A power power bank yeah. Yeah, right. I have yeah. mine. Uh, there's a little bag that Nori actually made the bag, uh, and it's uh, it's along with the triangle and a few other stuff. It's just there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I need, check I it need, over now and then to see if it's still church. I need to get one of those just because it's like it's still fucking cold up here. Like we got like five centimeters of snow or some shit. Like cars won't start. It's a fun time. Yeah, dude, you gotta watch out. Uh, but we're never gonna get those uh, electrified nipple clamps on the horse. No, that's because the horse doesn't have any nipples. It has these like weird hose mechanisms that go into some like strange pump, which we call the steam. Oh, day. You know, horse udders. <laughs> You know, utterly like, ridiculous. Much like Fast and the Furious, <laughs> Linux is about family and not about crashing cars into other cars. And Steam Steam wants to like embrace you into its family and give you some better family sharing options. So we got the new Steam families. This overrides the old family sharing system, which is which has some improvements, i.e., more than one person can play a game on an account at a given time. That's the big one. Uh, you mm-hmm. will still need n number of games if you want n number of people to play it at a given time. So um, if I'm playing if I'm playing Apex Legends and Ven's playing Apex Legends, we need to have two copies and we need to have a third. And have virus. Yeah, yeah, and uh, no, and a uh, bunch of uh, Ring Zero. Well, well, we'll get to that later. You know, what? <laughs> well, that, that that is that is not part of the family sharing, but it is shared via your family. Just just saying. Um, yeah. So, uh, you, uh, they have some, uh, purchase requesting stuff. For Unfortunate well. wording. <laughs> yeah. Child purchase requests. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, as, as, as I was getting to, yeah, you know, uh, once upon a time you'd have to like go to your kid's computer and like punch in your credit card, uh, to buy games. Now they can just ask you and spam you, uh, uh, spam the parent accounts for, uh, for purchase authorizations. But there's a, there's some caveats here. So if Billy gets banned, because he's hacking on Apex Legends and he wasn't victim to some destroyer 2009 shenanigans. Uh, you, you, Papa, will get banned. What happens if my brother? So, you know what? Let your sister do the cheating for you. Mm. <laughs> there, there's no mention of sister in here. Sisters are like. So, pre- so sisters are the like legal gray area. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing will happen to you. Now, this does bring up a lot of questions because, you know, I played around with it. Um, just out of necessity this week because I was uh, doing some benchmarks on the arc a three tin card. And I'm like, okay, well I want to do it on this box. And I was like, oh, do, do I want to like put the games on a drive, then like log them over, then like log back. And I'm like, hang on a minute. Nice. Punched it in, synced it up. Not a problem, but it instantly, am, I don't like having to do the pin code constantly. Like, cause steam will default into like family mode and then you can mm-hmm. like remove restrictions. Which isn't that big a deal, but I mean, it worked fine. It didn't complain. It was a zero friction. Now, apparently, a long, long time ago, a long time ago, with the uh, original implementation of family sharing, you could play multiple games on the same account. It wasn't a problem. They never really enforced it. It was real easy to get around. Wink, I should yeah, say. You yeah, could just you... drop offline and like, yeah. hey, we, mm-hmm. we, we can play. Uh, maybe a little too much abuse on that side. So they started enforcing it. And now this is kind of bringing this back. Now you're sitting there. I mean, like I'm a developer. Don't worry. You got hopped into this. You can pick yes. and choose. You can say, I don't want my game as part of this and something we need to bring up. It is all about family. All right. It is, <laughs> but you can only change families once a year. Yes. They, 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 they do say, because like, this is supposed to be for like actual families. This is not for buddy, buddy time that, uh, 
that you can only uh, re- join new families once a year. Uh, but if you're a, but uh, if you're the family administrator, you can remove a bunch of people. You can yes. just—it's very easy to disown your family via Steam. <laughs> um, that, that, that's our—that's our clickbait title. <laughs> easily dis- disowning your yeah. family <laughs> with Steam. So Steam wants you to disown your family. <laughs> Yeah, no, my my big question was, okay, so if I own Elden Ring and Nori is playing Elden Ring from my account and Nori owns the DX11 version of Skyrim, can we both, you know, be, uh, Nori be playing Elden Ring and I'll be playing um, the DX11 version of Skyrim? Can we now both do that without having to drop offline? And after rereading the thing a couple of times, it's like, yes, they, they do have a bit that says that, yes, you can. Uh, even if they are online playing another game, you can still play a game that's on their library. So now, okay, cool. So, <laughs> so if you want, if, so interestingly, interesting, you bring this up because if you want double Skyrim, you got to play Skyrim 2012 and original Skyrim at the same time yes. and then, then it won't overlap. <laughs> so if you, if you want to double up on that Skyrim, you can. This does bring up a couple of things though, to what Jordan was talking about. Like, okay, no, cause that was kind of your options. You know, if you had the kids in the family, you yeah. either had to get annoyed every single time like i want to get this game you're like okay fine here let me log into your thing and punch in my card and all that or you like gave them some cash you know loaded up their steam wallet and let them decide what games they were going to buy so i i could see this being a unintended bad effect because now growing up as a kid you're not building your own steam library you're inheriting you're not even like, well, well, what happens when, uh, you know, you get disowned? <laughs> <laughs> then well, you don't get vigigated. Do, do, is that like a valid, like university strategy? If you, if, so, if you don't pass all your courses, I'm, I'm taking you off steam family and you have no games anymore, junior. <laughs> so I guess, I guess my understanding is that like the, the games purchased under the account still belong to that account. Oh, they do. That's what I'm saying. Account. Like yeah. previously, like you yeah. would buy the kid on a yeah. game and that would be on their account. Now you're just like, okay, I'm just going to set you up account and here you have access to the games. And if you want to buy a game, I'm buying it yeah. through my yeah. main account, not yours. Better stay on my good side. I mean, uh, requiring parents to like. I parent their children. I'm not seeing the downside here. I, I'm thinking about like as, a, as like I don't have any games. Like when, when I'm like 25, I'm like I don't have any games, man. But but then that's great because then you can give Valve even more money to buy them the games. Yes. <laughs> now let's talk about this. Is not going to work for like multi online multiplayer games. No, you're not going to be able yeah. to cheap out and be like we can play the same game and like no 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 no. no. I I kind of wish they would like give an option though for like games that like are more co-op oriented or like multiplayer oriented where like you can say like yeah you know you can two people can like like a like a wolfenstein youngblood or an it takes two scenario right mm-hmm. like where you you could ha- you could have an option like that that might be cool as like a feature enhancement it'll be interesting on. to see what type of like uh, shenanigans yeah. like well, once you start throwing remote play on top of them like how somebody's gonna find that, well like, that's how you do it this kills how remote play right yeah. No, th- that this is how they sell remote play. It's like, okay, games that only have local multiplayer but have been, you know, verified for remote play together, you don't have that limitation. You can just have as many people want. So that would be one way to solve it if but, but, they but, decide but to the, do it like but that. But the whole remote play uh, mechanism is that, like, it, it's just an extra controller plugged in over the network, right? Like, so mm-hmm. I don't... I don't see how that would that would require the devs to do work <laughs> that they weren't going to support in the first place because they're using Steam Remote Play. So. I think this is a excellent, uh, very clever way for Valve to uh, introduce people to this idea of like, hey, using games like maybe I don't necessarily own them, but somebody has them. You got to ease the uh, consumer into it very gradually before they release the um, Steam Pass, and you yes. can test the mechanism behind that. And like, hmm, you know. And also make sure the developers are like, or the developers are going to be okay with this idea. Like, let, let's make sure that this is opt-in, see how they respond, see how Give people are using box. it. <laughs> yep. this is, then, you know, let's a couple of years down the road, or maybe tomorrow for whatever. And I, I'm spitballing here, but I, I, I'm kind of trying to read through the uh, GLaDOS leaves here of then going, all right, give us 20 bucks a month and we have, you know, the Microsoft Game Pass, but for Steam, right? You get X amount of games and yeah, I mean, just to have like, like a, yeah. a base of games that everyone can play and then have a few every now and then. Yeah, I mean, that would be, that would be an interesting it's like way to like Valve introduce like, like Steam tiers in right. terms of like, 
get, getting like, because people are like, oh, because we, we've talked about this before uh, last week where people are saying, where people are upset about the 30%, like, oh, well, you can get the 15% or whatever, but you don't get access to like the Steam Pass or whatever stuff, right? Like mm-hmm. if, if you, if you want to, if you want to get in there, then you need to, I don't know how that would work necessarily. The math from that doesn't check out, but I don't know. They're, they're Half-Life 3, Steam. only available on Steam Pass. <laughs> only Steam Deck exclusive, baby. <sighs> All right, speaking of Steam Decks. Let's Steam Deckify the world. At least that's uh, the promise behind Playtron. Yes, it is uh, effectively a little project. Well, little. I say little. It's already got Samsung money behind it. Uh, But yeah, it is a bunch of people led by the creator of, uh, what was it, Cyanogen OS? A Cyanogen mod. Uh, They basically want to create a completely hardware neutral operating system designed for gaming because the rise of handhelds you know there's a lot more uh handhelds out there and the steam deck turned out to be very very popular so let's corner that particular market and it you know fair enough i actually do enjoy that idea i enjoy, enjoy that idea very much and the, their attempt to be steam os but not necessarily on steam only hardware for everything i'm down for that except the, for the samsung part <laughs> yeah the the, the technology is interesting because if you if you look at the partners and you look at the open source uh things that they are contributing to and from uh they they list stuff like uh heroic uh chimera uh, uh chimera os mm-hmm. Uh, Box eighty six because one yeah. one of the things here is they want to support arm uh, arm handhelds right. yes. going forward. So getting uh, x eighty six games running there is going to be huge. Uh, open Gamepad UI, Hero Games Launcher. So it's a pretty solid foundation of like open source tech that you if you were going to build an operating system like this, this would be a good place to start. So it, it yes. makes sense. It looks like it's integrating Heroic for like other store support. Steam is just natively supported in Linux because you can install Steam. Yeah, yeah so. I do yeah, like certainly the, uh, interesting play. Yeah, The Verge did uh, an interview with one of the people involved, and it's like one of the quotes. It's <laughs> I have a bit of an issue with because apparently they're using Fedora Silver Blue as the base for Playtron, uh, and uh, one of the things is um, the immutable file system from Fedora Silver Blue will be very helpful in implementing our anti cheat system, but it's not our anti cheat system. We are planning to generate signatures for each version of ROS, easy with Silverblue, as well as all the DLLs that install dynamically. Uh, basically, are using SDK. A game developer will be able to update a signature. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're actively wanting to bring root level ring zero anti cheat to Linux, and I'm not okay with that. <laughs> Because the uh, immutable file system in Silver Blue is immutable for the root, everything that runs in what about the, the user. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, uh, everything root, that runs in user is not immutable. The, that you can still change. It's the same thing with SteamOS proper. So if they are talking about allowing so, um, so based, Fortnite based on, and Roblox. <laughs> based, on, based on what you said, though, it looks like it's creating like a signature database of mm-hmm. all of the uh, of all of the files uh, that might be loaded on the system and then just actively comparing them to see if they've been modified. But I mean, that, and, that, and that's like tripwire, right? Uh, but, and, but I, I, I don't know if this is as far as they're going to go, right? This is still early days. We don't even, we don't yes. even know if this is going to be, like, uh, I mean, it's, it's, inter- it's good to right? know that you get some type of like runway put together for that, but you're like getting to the point where like people are going to like make games for this device. It was a little bit fucking delusional. I'm thinking yeah. I'm using the right word. They're fucking delusional. <laughs> um, but, the business sense, why you get somebody like Sony um, or uh, Samsung or who else is going to make these damn things, uh, MSI with a claw, is they have to pay. I Neo, apparently. I Neo. They have to pay. is going to, supposedly. I'm going to get, <laughs> I'm going to get this sentence out. Drive for. Um, <laughs> they have to pay for a Windows license for these handhelds. And like, I don't know what the actual price is, but you know, like. It's going to cost us like 80, 90 bucks if we get like, you know, shady Uh, they're going to be, they're not giving this out to OEMs for free. They want like 10 bucks. And I'm like, Hey, we'll give you the steam deck like experience for your handheld, your car, whatever, your wiffle ball bat. Um, and 
you're going to save all this money and all these games are just going to work and you'll be able to play this. The whole problem with this is this entire company disappears 11 minutes after Valve releases SteamOS 3 to the public. <laughs> well, they won't disappear. They'll just pivot to a new thing. <laughs> well, so, so I mean, I, mean the, I, think, I think the big differentiator here is the ARM thing. We haven't really seen Valve make any sort of like big pushes into that direction. And with Samsung's, some, that Samsung's backing, they do have a lot of expertise in that field. We, we, so, have, we have a system for that. Uh, for ARM-based mobile gaming right now, Jordan. Yeah. It's called Android. <laughs> uh, no, no, Samsung. Tizen. Sam- yeah, Tizen. <laughs> well, yeah, th- but this this is the one that Samsung controls and not the one that Google I controls. don't want my ARM game. Yeah, they, they, trust me. Multiple companies have tried to make the gaming phone with handheld bullshit attached to it. They sold four no- of them. Like Nokia Engage, baby. Uh, Asus keeps releasing ROG phones. Uh-huh. The, but the, they have several models of that. <laughs> now, you, we've talked about, I don't know if we talked about this in the pre pre super shows in a while back. If you want like an extra hour of like, there's hundreds and hundreds of like bonus content, become a patron. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast for a pre pre super shows and you podcast. Chill. Um, you know it, baby. Mm. The idea of uh, the younger generation, when you're faced with, am I buying a gaming PC or am I specking out the a gaming phone? That's a real discussion uh, 12, 13, 14, 15-year-old is I was, having. I was, I was listening to a, a Thor stream on YouTube, and he was talking about that, where, like, uh, when they was demoing his game at uh, Ferris, like, children would go past the controller and start, like, touching the monitor yeah. because they thought it was mm-hmm. a touchscreen game, right? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, um, mo- mobile phone gaming is huge. Uh, and Those are going to be, like, yeah. gaming phones are going to be a thing for that same subset of, like, gaming desktops were when we were growing up like that Ooh. is going to have that same appeal like okay i got a thousand dollars to spend rgb phones are they gonna like oh, again they're, they're gonna be like Asus ROG obnoxious. phone <laughs> look it up <laughs> they, they already no, make you. them with like clip on active cooling like i mean uh, are, 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 yes. are, are we gonna see like the, the the phone the belt clips come back you remember those for that extra battery so i can overclock yeah 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 bro <laughs> <laughs> i'm waiting for the curved displays <laughs> On phones. <laughs> hey, man. Good luck, Playtron. Good luck. Uh, you know, hopefully this comes out. It's a great thing. It's based on Linux like SteamOS is. And, um, you know, maybe if the, this gets enough traction, Valve, because I don't think Valve is being like hostile by not releasing uh, SteamOS. It's just fucking Valve. There's no competition. And like, there's yeah, no they, reason they, for they, them they to. They have no motivation to do it. They're well, just they'll, like, they'll, yeah, they'll we'll get it done eventually. eventually yeah. Like, when somebody gets around to it. So maybe this will be like, uh oh, we don't want to uh, lose. Every, you know, we don't want everybody else to play catch up with that, or we don't know. Yeah, but, on, but. I, I, I don't know. Give, given the reaction that, like, it was, it was Aya that were like, they were, where they were announcing that they were going to have, uh, like Chimera OS or one of the other ones, Hollow ISO yeah. on one, on one of the handhelds. And that got a shit ton of backlash. So you think, you think, um, I, I don't know. You, well, you, it's you got think a backlash enough, like, because at will first, to, to get, push something like this forward. The know. average person gives negative fuck zero about what operating system is playing their games on a handheld. Sure. Mm-hmm. And the backlash for the Ioneo thing is because, oh no, we're going to be using SteamOS. Oh no, it's not SteamOS. It's going to be a hollow ISO. Oh no, we're not going to be doing that at all. We're just going to release another Windows um, handheld. Mm-hmm. That's why people were pissed off. <laughs> I mean, it, it was, uh, yeah, some conversations were had. Let's just say. We, we, we it, have SteamOS at home. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of a light week in the uh, new native Linux game section for Steam this week. Not 1D, not 5D, but we do have a new game, a 4D golf, where you can explore higher dimensions with (laughs) golf and conquer mind-bending golf challenges with 4s and Ds, and you can unlock new things. Huh. I'm watching the trailer. And like it, it looks like a fever dream, like shifting and manip- manipulating courses. And I'm like, well, well, what's so 4D about it? Because I immediately I'm thinking back to like, remember like the 4D craze, like back in the early 90s when everything like was like was like 4D right, boxing it, it, and 3D was the big thing in movies. So games were like, yeah, we're we're, we're 4D. We're, yeah, we we got 40s. We 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 got D's <laughs> falling out of our like pants we, legs. We, we got D's nuts, baby. Yeah, baby, <laughs> we're just covered in D's. And uh, I, I'm looking at this trailer and I'm like, where are all the D's, bro? So uh, <laughs> from what from what I can tell, you're basically just. Du- 
golfing in a mathematical model of a tesseract because like y'all remember basic linear algebra where it's like oh yeah you can mathematically model as many dimensions as, as you want so yeah it just adds mm-hmm. that zorth dimension or whatever to, it, uh, it, it, it is very much playing on the relative dimensions and how your perspective affects them we've seen that it, it's been done many times maybe not necessarily uh, I, 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 for mini golf is the yeah. uh, is, yeah. is, is, is the one yeah uh super liminal um Yes, Superliminal was the name of the game. Uh, also played a lot around with that particular yeah. mechanic. Mm-hmm. I don't see the time travel anywhere, though. <laughs> because I, too, looked at that trailer. It's like, okay, so where's that fourth dimension kicking well, in? <laughs> Come on. Because it's, 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 the, it's the Tesseract, right? Like, it's, it's, it's not yeah. time as a dimension. It's just another, like, directional layer, I guess. Um, 1999. Uh, right now, if you act right now, because that's just the regular price, so you don't really save anything. But uh, single player. Mm-hmm. Single or, split or, screen. Screen. <laughs> or split screen or split single play player. baby yeah. <laughs> remote yeah R- remote remote play golf that's what mm-hmm. I love to- <sighs> all right uh that's gonna do it let's just go ahead and get into the news since we are all business right Lin- linus you want to you want to take no you know, all right huge fans of nvidia everything they do absolute <laughs> nvidia shills dyed in green wool ladies and gentlemen we have nay a bad thing to say about that wonderful, glorious leather jacket, which is in charge of one Jensen um, Huang. Huang. But Jensen Huang. <laughs> unfortunately, unlike AMD, um, a lot of new Linux users run into skill issues trying to install NVIDIA drivers because you just can't plug the card in and cut the box off. Oh. Well, for, for, for a while that was, uh, I mean, that was, that was kind of NVIDIA's fault, but then they did it good. Mm-hmm. They released the GSP firmware. So now we have some black boxes and some documentation that we can plug our code into and push some pixels we're, on the screen. We're, 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 we're getting there. We're, we're, we're trying to make it where, you know, you, you don't have to be competent in Linux yeah. in order to install your video card. Like you do with an NVIDIA card, you buy an AMD card, you know, you can chew on all the glue sticks you want. You just pop thing in, go burr. You don't have to worry same, about same, it. Same, same with Intel, apparently. Unless you want to change the heat. Yeah, but it burns a lot louder, dude. Yeah. Um, spoilers. Spoilers. Yes. Uh, Thin blower fans. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of been our dream, though, to get Team Green to... And we've had Nuvo, but Nuvo's completely reverse-engineered, and we've had power issues, and all. It's just, it's just amazing yeah. that it functioned at all as all. It, 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 ever it worked well enough to right. get the binary drivers installed. So. And NVIDIA's dragged ass, and they finally got the GSP firmware, and they're like, okay. Well, then uh, and we have the uh, NVK project, which is going to the actual graphics. You know, like, okay, this is going to be dope. And, you know, the zinc for the OpenGL. Like, okay, we got something going together. Then Red Hat shows the fuck up out of nowhere. And they're like, <laughs> hey, what's up? Y'all heard about Rust? I'm like, really? You're like, really? Rust? <laughs> No, like curdle, like why reasons? It's memory safe. Yeah, well, I mean, so is every language if you don't fuck it up. Well, that's and that's the thing you don't get the opportunity to fuck it up with Rust. Uh, so this comes in. This is going to be a GSP only driver uh, for the NVIDIA GPUs, and it is the successor to the Nuvo project. Since uh, you might remember, if you listen to the show, uh, the main primary maintainer of Nuvo pieced out. He was like, "I'm done with this." Uh, so they kind of had to do something, and they decided to do it in Rust uh, from big, not blue, but big red. What do we yeah, think big, about this? Big, big purple. It, I, I think this makes a lot of sense. Okay, the Rust thing, I, I, I don't have an opinion on. You want to make it in Rust? Make it in Rust. Uh, uh, but it makes sense because Nuvo was like purely OpenGL. That was what it was meant to do. It barely did it, but it did it. Uh, and if the GL bits are now going to be headed off to Zinc or whatever they decide to use to translate, uh, they basically just do I everything. I didn't want to go Vulcan. ahead and throw it out. First of all, Nova, is, uh, could you make it a little harder to find? <laughs> could, yeah, could you, you call take... the project <laughs> the? <laughs> yeah, it, it is it a little bit overused as a name, but yeah, no, if you're going to introduce hey, a whole new rendering uh api like vulcan and so, you're going to characters in there too <laughs> but this is how you translate. understand the uh like quality of a uh, repo is by the uh percentile of uh and we yeah uh, 
avatars. We've, yep. yep. Yes. Although that's a Zahilina, so that's the person you kind of want. <laughs> well, I mean, in its favor, like the, yeah. the higher percentile of um, yeah. yes. anime weeb bullshit for avatars <laughs> yeah. is like usually the better code quality. Zahilina, uh, Deutschen, and a few others. But yeah, no, if you have a driver that's all open GL all the time and then you're going oh, to wow. because NVK was so much uh, faster, as it's proven to be then it makes sense to have a whole new driver or at least completely refactor what you already have to work natively in Vulkan and integrate those GL calls back into Vulkan properly and not just random patchwork. I mean, we're finally, <laughs> finally, maybe getting uh, getting rid of X and said patchwork. Shut your whore uh, mouth, Mateus. Well... <laughs> So, and, and like, so th this is still in its early days. Uh, there's still quite a bit of wrangling that needs to be done on the kernel side and on the rust side for, for all of this stuff could get merged in. But like, yeah, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm for moving, uh, drivers to a more memory safe language because yeah, you reduce the possibility of people screwing up and creating memory errors. And maybe this can do things like prevent incidents, like ones we're going to talk about a little bit later by reducing mm -hmm. the, uh, the, 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 the potential attack surface of, of your memory maps. But no, this this is this is ultimately a good thing. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm very excited to live in the future where you can just like plug an NVIDIA card in a Linux computer and it just runs. Think of the new <laughs> Linux users, both of you. What are they? What are new Linux users going to argue about if they can't argue about? They'll just go AMD back to AMD or about NVIDIA. Emacs and VI. They don't no, know what that is. They'll if, continue to argue those about kids could AMD read. and NVIDIA. <laughs> if those kids could read, they'd be very upset, Bobby. <laughs> if those kids could quit, uh, yeah. The, I I think the like AMD versus Nvidia arguments never going to go away. I don't know. I mean, it's we're just going to go back uh, to Nintendo versus. I Sega. think it's quite interesting on Linux because it is very much the uh, schoolyard. You know, unless you had more money than I did growing up, uh, you know, you had like that one console because you couldn't get both consoles, and like, yeah. you, you like the one that you bought. So you're you're <laughs> bringing the GPU that you came over from Windows on, and you're like, no, this is the better one, no matter what it is, and you got to fight for it, no matter what. You can't see both sides of it. It's awesome. I love watching these arguments. <laughs> People will get really, really invested about these fucking corporations that they're giving. They do, man. My soul's here. corporation's better than yours, man. I mean, they paid into that fandom, so they're going to make use of their money. <laughs> fucking shills. I, I mean, I mean Apple you. figured this out years ago, man. I'm, I'm just glad NVIDIA and AMD are catching up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about it. Well, let's not forget about Intel. Yeah, you're just fair, fair enough. Yeah. Yes, uh, Intel is also in the GPU market now. I mean, for realsies this time, <laughs> they they're making yeah, they, they make things. Battle Mage, come on, man. Come well, on. What, what what one day eventually, uh, eventually we'll get we'll be able to control those fans. Yeah, the the, the uh, yeah. We, we, spoilers. Nintendo Core control. Come on. <laughs> last week we yes. talked about a new project from not the developers of Yuzu, the Switch emulator, but no, a Phoenix rising yes. from the oh. ashiest of ashes. The the ashiest of all Larrys. Yeah, this is uh Su Su Yu. Uh you might know them as <laughs> the legal version of the Yuzu emulator, supposedly. Um, they had their, uh, they, they were had cost to celebrate this week. They had a, their first release and, uh, then they decided to post that on their, uh, hosted GitLab and they got DMCA. Um, yeah. So, uh, here's, here's the thing. I, I've dealt with GitLab enterprise before I've dealt with GitLab as a company and they are a company and you would have to be insane to think that they would not comply with the DMCA request, uh, on, on their hosted <laughs> service. Um, you know, because, you know, they, they have shit like, um, like Collabora as, as customers, right? Like they don't, they, they have a reputation to uphold. Um, but yeah, they, uh, the, the public facing or the, uh, the hosted, uh, GitLab mirror got DMCA. They do have a private one though. And their DMCA link on that private mirror links to a brick roll, which is good. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, uh, this, this was, this was to be expected. I don't think any of us were surprised that like. Uh, that like this was going to happen at all. Uh, no, the one thing that kind of uh, uh, showed me is that GitLab has uh, basically told the world with this that they're willing to disable the accounts of people who contribute to a repository that got DMCA because that yeah. was what fucking happened. That was my big takeaway from that. So That seems a little extreme. Love it. <laughs> like, uh, uh, 
they're, they, they don't want to get sued. The, uh, the uh, like, I, that's something you need to keep in mind because, uh, you know, hey, welcome to the find out part of the equation. We were talking about the fuck around part of the equation last week. Well, here we go real quick. And yeah, I do feel bad for anybody because like with the like if you contributed to that, you woke up and you're like, where's my account? Yeah. And but and, and again, like this doesn't actually solve the problem at no. all, because like any 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 computer that runs SSHD can be a git host so we'll, we'll see how this game of whack it's gonna goes. live forever you know when i saw yeah. the big rah rah you know you can't kill the like nintendo's not trying to kill that. you can't stop you know? the message can't, yeah man the signal man is always going to get through nintendo is not focused on that nintendo if this was nintendo or however the goal here is to disrupt organization because if you don't have a central point for people to get together and collaborate on the project and every time you scatter it Every single time you do this, you lose people. They're just like, you know what? I ain't got time for this shit. Every time you blow up that little nest and for it to reform, it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. It's a strategy. At least until the Switch 2 comes out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, there's something to be said about uh, actively attempting to emulate and jailbreak actively supported systems probably going to attract a lot of attention and i was kind of joking last week when i said that oh they really want senpai to notice them i guess senpai didn't notice them after all <laughs> uh, it's yeah i i don't know it, 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 is, it is what it is right like this, 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 is anybody this, surprised no no yeah. nobody they're like well that was quicker than expected but all right <laughs> Like they were actively. <laughs> I'd, I'd seen that on the background. I got no. <laughs> Gotta thank my wife for that one. I was gonna say that was a uh, last week, and I was like, ah, oh, she said that up for you, didn't? Because I was like, no way, <laughs> hell, Jordan. <laughs> had to, yeah. yeah, no offense. It, but, uh, it, like, it, it's a it's a cross stitch actually. So like, yeah, that's yeah. that's very good. <laughs> Reddit, uh, subreddit, naughty needles. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. Uh, moving on from that. Uh, well, let's go ahead and say. I mean. It, we're gonna get you know you i don't know if we're gonna be seeing a lot of improvements on switch emulation which really sucks yeah that's gonna uh, end I, 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 at least at least until switch 2 comes out yeah we'll we'll, we'll see mm. yeah the, because uh the, nintendo the is folders. incentivized do you think the switch light the switch light they're gonna it's gonna be like the switch ultra light that's gonna be like 20 bucks at the uh <laughs> petrol is, station is it gonna be like yeah. a course light or something <laughs> just just so nintendo's like nope still in production if you <laughs> I, I mean, they, uh, they could they could very well do that. I mean, that's what they're trying to do with um. That could, you could say that's what they're trying to do with like the NES Classic and shit. Like, oh hey, we're still selling these games. Still making Stop them pirating, out. yeah. Stop mm -hmm. pirating them. Yeah. You know, could be. Then again, they also shut down the Wii U store, so they can't really care that much. Well, they want uh, you. To, they want you to rebuy it on the Switch store yeah. because your purchase. Like, you can still buy the game. Yeah. Quit being poor, Pedro. <laughs> yes. Poor <laughs> Nintendo. Uh, Speaking of people with a lot more money than we do, let's talk about Amazon, or specifically uh, the game engine that Amazon got into. Oh, let's roll it, it back. Remember when Amazon was going to make video games? Yes, they did. They made uh, two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's called New World. The other one's called um, Arc Legends or Legends of Arc, something like that. Nobody can argue that. Lo it, Lost it's, Ark? It, 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 Lost Ark could be, yeah. Yeah, I know it's an L and arc, but yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're both using the old Lumberyard engine, which then they um, basically dropped on the lap of the Linux Foundation. and they which, created, which was Crytek. I think we should establish that yeah, once upon a time. It, originally, it, it, a very long time ago, was based which, on Crytek. Like, Crytek, remember when, I guess maybe they still are or, crunched. Uh, Cry, Cry Engine. Not Cry Engine. Mm -hmm. Crytek licensed that to them. And when they really started hurting financially, Crytek... They tried to come after Amazon. It's like, you can't yes. open. And they're like, you didn't read the contract, homie. Like, this is a different <laughs> branch. Like, you, we're, we're, you're done getting money. So how you managed to spend the amount of money we gave you in such a short period of time? Beyond us. Not our problem, though. But then we yeah, ended no. up, um, yeah, as Pedro was saying, Lumberyard came out of the Amazon going, we didn't know what we were doing. All right, here, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they made those two games, and then it's like, okay, we're done. Linux Foundation, here you go, you can have it. So they started the Open 3D Foundation for the Open 3D Engine, as it's called now. And uh, the Linux Foundation have decided to advertise possibly the biggest game to come out on the Open 3D Engine ever. 
Uh, and it's, uh, what's it called? I don't want to call it the thing that I've been called. Mad, Mad World. Mad World. <laughs> Mad World. Uh, you know, it, all, all, all around me are non-fungible tokens. Blockchain's broken. Bitcoin's yes, stolen. Yes, Jordan is uh, alluding to. World. It's a Web 3.0 game. Motherfuckers. Uh, NFTs are yeah. back, baby. <laughs> Yeah, it is straight up an NFT game that the JPEGs. Linux Foundation is advertising on their fucking website. Uh, it's an Android and iOS game, if you're really that interested. But it's a fucking NFT world. Keep... No! I mean, <laughs> NFT-based. Fuck you, Decrypt. Uh, <laughs> territory control elements. Yeah. So Ingress, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the, the Ingress with NFTs, yes. <laughs> uh, Carbonated Incorporated, the people behind this, uh, from the video game Veterans from PlayStation Electronic Arts revealed, uh, yeah, they've raised 11 million in Series A funding for this. Uh, and uh, another round led by Blockchain Network uh, XPLA, whatever that means. I'm sure this means something to somebody. On, oh, and they previously had raised 8.5 for a fucking mobile game, man. Twenty well, million dollars. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play that on your uh, on your ROG Ally phone, right? I guess, <laughs> or your iOS. Uh, I mean, the only reason we're giving this mention is because it's made with Odie, which is the <laughs> open three D. And like, oh, well, I guess it's better than nothing. In the like, so, so, someone's doing something with it, I guess. Yeah, yeah right. It's a, yeah, that's great. But can we please nope. not make it fucking crypto? Just let it die. I'll give you double crypto. <laughs> well, that, 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 that's the only reason it raised 11 million dollars right yes <laughs> uh every time i see something like this uh with like nft like the same thing with like blockchain technology perfectly valid tech and that's, not, not not for not for this though you don't know like it depends it, 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 or how how I'm waiting for like the nft thing makes perfect fucking sense like i like the concept and idea behind it which you got to watch out for, which everybody learned is the fucking cash grab fucking scammers who immediately jump on it and try to monetize something like this isn't really designed to sell shit. Um, so yeah, like if, if you, if you, if you listen to like what Anil Dash was talking about when he originally theorized about it, it was just like a way to attribute credit to whoever makes a fucking image on the internet. And it wasn't actually like when, when you think about it, like we fucking missed the boat with that, especially like if, cause now NFTs get a bad funk to it cause we're ripping on it just knee jerk. Right. Think about uh, like the NFT proof of you know ownership. How handy that would be in a world of fucking uh, getting your art trained on without your consent and showing up in other places, which is a problem. Yes, <laughs> like you know, baby and bathwater and all that shit. So it's going to be interesting that when it comes back around, and so like maybe they'll implement this in a way that is not directly tied to like a monetization. I doubt it. No, that, that 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 that's what the people want now. Or the, the people it, who are it is a mobile it. game. It is inherently targeting the Wales. microtransactions. That's what I'm. That's kind of why I'm not completely poo pooed on it because they don't need the NFTs for the microtransactions. <laughs> they already got the microtransactions. No, they don't. It, no, no, it's no, already no, no. on mobile, so they're that's, already they as, the, uh, as uh, not Frieza in Discord alludes to. It is. It's just a buzzword, right? Uh, like, well, I'll never see, man. Maybe it'll be double AI, triple NFT. Oh, there we go. I found a list of uh, games using uh, Lumberyard. Star Citizen, that thing oh, that yeah. still hasn't released. <laughs> I, I want extra fungible tokens, though. <laughs> That's yeah, it? Yeah, and uh, it? no, uh, the, the Grand Tour game. Oh, God. Which right? was yeah. uh, Xbox ah. One and PlayStation 4 only. It That's never right. came out on PC. Made, and it was, it was pan to high hell. <laughs> It was made by somebody like, I, I, imagine if Jordan made a driving simulator. I would rather get punched in the face by Clarkson than play that game. <laughs> I would rather Amazon eat that game steak studios, than play yeah, that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather eat cold steak. Additional support by Heavy Iron Studios. That's wild, man. A uh, <laughs> little bit of news uh, to close out on this week is... Um, Nobody's a fan of uh, anti-cheat. Because I think we all have the opinion of like, well, that's, we either have security theater or stuff that if you know anything, you're not going to install it on your box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like there doesn't seem to be a nice squishy middle ground here. And uh, well, that stuff that you shouldn't get set up and installed on your box kind of 
really messed up an Apex Legend tournament earlier. Uh, you didn't have week. a say in the matter. <laughs> Apex Legend streamers were surprised to find Aimbot and other hacks added to their PC in the middle of a major competition. Now, to my first reaction was, how is there enough people playing this game to rat, uh, warrant? And apparently, I mean, they went free to play Second Life and all that. So the note is there's currently an RCE exploit being used and abused in Apex Legend that could be delivered from the game itself uh, or its anti-cheat protection. Now, initially, see, we get to talk about this because uh, Apex Legends was one of the games, uh, if not the first, with official easy anti-cheat under Linux support. Mm -hmm. It was. And like, they were like, ooh, no. And they're like, nope. Go play it. It's official. We support it. And they've only broken it like twice, which is pretty good for them. Uh, they got it back up and running. Now, of course, Easy Anti Cheat jumped right out and they're like, not on us, bro. Like, we, we did, we're security theater. Our, our stuff couldn't do this in the first place. Like, we're, we're just like people like looking at blue bears and they think they're secure and you give us some money. That's how Easy Anti Cheat works, basically. And um, this was bad enough to like shut down the turn. Right. And they yeah. get in touch with a hacker. Jordan's going to say to you, you got uh, like two little lines that look like you wanted to get them out. Oh, no, I was, I was, I was, I was just going to say, yeah, the, the, well, I mean, that, the hacker came forward because he was like, yeah, I don't want these guys to like, um, to get, like get, get banned or anything. I'm, I just did this to like prove yeah. that we can do it so that they patch it. And I mean, I guess good, good on him for that. Is like destroy your 2009. Uh, he, he said, hey, man, yeah, I did this um, just for fun. You know, just, for, just for a good laugh. And with the goal of forcing Apex Legends, the developers, to fix the vulnerability that he exploited. Now, and you're wondering, why didn't he just report this? Now, this is where I kind of take issue with the dude, as EA doesn't have a bounty program. And he's like, what? I'm going to waste my time, like, screaming at how? No, and I guess that's the other side to it. How many times have we seen somebody trying to get something fixed, Truck Simulator? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and nothing gets changed and you're like here's the problem very publicly and i there'll be a link to everything in the show notes because they interviewed him on a site uh on TechCrunch, i believe it was yeah and he went into it and he's like trust me nobody's going to be able to replicate what i got going on and the people working at ea know exactly what the hell i just did mm. and they need to fix it and like in the middle like we, we had like cheat menus and stuff pop up on the screen like, i'm not going to play the video online yeah Go watch it yourself. Uh, that's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. And yeah, to what Jordan said, the guy came out and he's like, these guys were completely innocent. I just picked them because I liked them and I wanted to give them some attention. They, they, they seem like nice guys. Yeah. So I decided to fuck with them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just help them out. Now they got the press and, and you know, to make sure that no, none of them got like accused of uh, cheating. Yeah. Cheating I've, in online I've... games. So yeah, Pedro. Yeah, no, I've been shouting that uh, client-side anti-cheats are bullshit, and they only really impact the people who are playing the game legitimately, much like DRM. Only the people who legitimately bought the game are the ones impacted by the DRM. And here we are, once again, proving my yeah. point. <laughs> and, and, it's, uh, and to that point, it's like, yeah, ring, ring zero is ring zero, even if it's not easy anti-cheat. Uh, you're giving you're giving the Apex Legends the ability to access your system at that level, and yeah, it can be exploited, and it and like best best intentions go out the window because once you get once you f start factoring remote code execution to it, uh, yeah, it, and and anything goes, especially at that level. Or if you made such a wash of it, where something like this is even possible, um, like my solution is, I mean, it's kind of, it's sorted for us on Linux, like the, like hyper invasive, easy anti cheat, uh, not easy anti cheat, but like, you know, the star forge level stuff, uh, typically just doesn't work. You know, we talked about, uh, Roblox. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, we're, we're, we're done. And like, doesn't affect me. Cause I wasn't going to fuck with you in the first place because I don't, I'm, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Anytime you buy something with easy anti cheat or, uh, what, what is the, uh, battle net one called? Uh, battle eye, battle eye, unless they've come a out and publicly said like, Hey, we're going to make sure this is supported. You're gambling. Mm -hmm. You're gambling. Like you wake up tomorrow and they're like, it no longer works. Shrug emoji. You're just out of that money. You don't have I'm like, but, but and like go install windows if you want to keep playing it. And like, I, I, and I don't know, this, this is going to forever be a problem as long as there's like money tied into professional gaming. I mean, <laughs> easy anti cheat, like online cheating cheaters suck. Like, and not, nothing's being done. 
really like th- this is treating symptoms not causes mm-hmm. yeah like the, the moment that you have something which can easily be exploited it's your problem it shouldn't be the problem of the people paying you money to play your game you should be the ones handling the anti-cheat stuff and not or, dumping it on people here, here, here here's another good example of this this flipper shit in canada right they want to ban the flipper zero mm-hmm. be- and instead of, because oh you can use it to steal cars why okay. is it so easy to steal cars in the first place you can you can't yeah. even use it yes I'm you, you can't even use it for that <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you you need uh, way more equipment than a flipper yeah, zero yeah, yeah, too because yeah, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. to do roll the keys in a modern yeah, yeah, car yeah. Yeah, like, and the 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 flipper doesn't even have like nope. the re, the capture capability. Ah. But like, but again, like, you're you're again, like Ben said, you're treating the symptoms and not the cause. Why why are you creating a situation be, be, where this be, is possible in the be, first place? Be because the corporations give us money, Jordan. Yeah, clearly they don't give, they don't give me money. <laughs> I want I want some of that. No flipper, <laughs> you get a black market to the dolphins. Snorky, talk, man. <laughs> it really doesn't. The more I think about it, the angrier I get. The only play it, with your friends. <laughs> remote play that's, that's only. The that's the solution. I mean, that, Apex that, that, Legends that, Here's where I'm at. Play. You know, at forty fucking years old, if I'm going to play online, I'm only playing with my fucking friends. I don't play with fucking randos, and even in my fucking twenties, like I rarely played. I, I had a group of friends that if I, I had no desire to get in a fucking room nowadays in 2024, I'm even thinking about it. Everything's in fucking question. Why? Because we were looking up like cheat engines in a pre-pre super show for Linux, and it was on the first page to get up. Mm-hmm. Like I can imagine, like pennies you got to spend to get Windows versions, and like it's your Lance Armstrong man, you, you got to dope to compete. The only point. people that uh, are affected by anti cheat fucking up, case in point, are the people playing the game legitimately. The cheaters have already found ways around it. They're already cheating. They're already posting YouTube videos of ch- ch- cheating in the current released stable client fucking it, there's uh, something, yeah, I mean, what, what's to be done about it Pedro? what's the solution we, we, we've tried nothing man and we're all out of ideas <laughs> uh, what they should be doing is as the developers of the software mm-hmm. they should be taking the onus of stopping that cheating at the server side their side not foisting it on people how come nobody's done that yet because, because that would require a hell of a lot more money. They would require them to do the job properly. It would, instead of just paying easy anti-cheat, instead of just paying battle eye, they would have to fucking do it, and they don't want to fucking do it. What if, uh, <laughs> like, they couldn't afford to? Come on. I mean, they clearly can afford to pay easy anti-cheat. <laughs> you think that's more or less than rolling that in-house? Uh, it depends on the quality of your programmers, I guess. <laughs> well, I know how much easy anti-cheat costs, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I don't know what it's going to cost us, though. I, I'm trying to think about before we start releasing this game, we're working on me and you, Pedro. Oh, yeah? But yeah, we got to make these decisions. <laughs> about, Br- brick like, night? <laughs> r- r- row bricks? Five night at bricks? <laughs> yeah. F- five, five nights at brickies? That, that's the thing. I don't think that most of these decisions were made before the game was even out they probably had something that they thought was you know going to prevent that from happening i don't think anybody sets out to make a game that's easily exploitable mm-hmm. uh, but like they're they're complex these are incredibly complex pieces of software like it's bound to happen that you're going to find exploits right? oh there will always be exploits but again the onus should not be on the fucking user to deal with it. It should not be required for people to have ring zero fucking anti-cheat that you can't shut down, or ring zero securom from back in the day that you couldn't even fucking close to play a video game. I'm, I, I'm just, waiting. no. I'm <laughs> waiting to win. It gets to the point where games are going to be delivered in KVMs. <laughs> oh. I, I mean, what, what, once once they're already like delivered by like EME secured web pages, like how what Netflix is doing, that's mm-hmm. it, right? Like that's 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 the, the, the ultimate solution is game streaming, right? You have game no streaming is like platform. that. that yeah, yeah. Th- there will be that. You want to talk about like a weird case for uh, like competitive tournaments? Like as strange as this sounds right now, that's going to be the one way that you can guarantee that only the people yeah. who've paid off the uh, company, the, the, the judges, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. You're going to have a competitive advantage. Interesting times, but we just thought we'd give that a mention since you can play Apex and uh, 
Yeah, that, I mean, that just sucks for the guy because, like, I'm sure some people were, like, they've been practicing, they wanted to play a tournament and get together, and they just got well, there, there, there's there's money on the line, right? Like, were, some, yes. Millions. For, for some, yeah, for some people, this is their jobs. Yeah, so, they could have like, been rent for some motherfucker. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's going to do it for the news. Uh, let's get into a little bit of feedback. If you want to get in touch with us, LinuxTeamCast.com, contact button. Put that shit together, little man, in our hand with some letters, and then click send. But it says send, but send it rhyme with hand. So sand it. Just ma- mail us some sand to our P.O. box, please. I wonder how much. <laughs> I, I wonder how much <laughs> sand I can mail before they start asking questions. <laughs> depends. I guess depends on where you get the sand from. If it's just like Home Depot sand or like beach sand, that's a different story. I, I, I don't know. I, if, I, if you're I, like on the beach with like a shovel and you're just scooping sand into a bag. Th- this is why I could never like win a lottery or anything, because now I'm just like, I wonder how many days in a row I can ship like, you know. 12 kilos of yeah, not enough you words. could claim it was packing material no, like, no, so what no, are you using it's packing it's material sand, sand. sand <laughs> written on it sand, sand. <laughs> with, with quotes <laughs> sand. sand oh that was gonna get ripped open and tested everywhere yeah and it's That's always gonna, gonna, gonna be sand. and then it's gonna go everywhere and then you have to clean up the sand <laughs> and yeah. every single time it's just gonna be fucking sad <laughs> And eventually somebody's going to be no, like, no, no. the fuck what, are you up to, man? <laughs> what, no, no, no. One time it's going to be glitter and the rest of it's going to be sand. <laughs> oh, sand. That, no, no, that one okay. you write, not that sand. That works for on. glitter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Did like, you... I, I don't know what I was expecting. Right? Like... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, LinuxTeamCast.com, contact button. Uh, leave a comment if you want to get in touch with us uh, on YouTube or uh, if you're a patron. Leave it on the patron post. Because... If you are a patron, you get the super HD commercial free version in video form. Go check it out if you didn't know about it. All right. So last week, I was like, we were talking about, you know, the Steam sale, spring sale, and we were trying to take that trip back through memory lane, man. Trying to test out some synapses by saying, what was the last time? I look forward to adding. Dropped it. (laughs) Yep. I don't even know what felt. Um, What was the last game? That you just bought impulse be damned impulse control out the door like i gotta have i almost did that yesterday with a new horizon game but it didn't uh we just want to get right in and we got a couple of people we got a couple of people well uh we, we, got, we got some feedback from the audience we asked what do we get? let's uh, judge let's judge 13 remaster from arthurian we got new world mm-hmm. from nilly 69 nice hell divers 2 from jiskar our favorite red hat one of our favorite red hat employees um yeah uh i guess that's like the latest one he's he, he wins from that uh doom 2016 from the linux noob and shadow of the tomb raider from stars diaries huh let's uh, see uh, to address uh nilly 69's uh thing because they also commented that apparently they're running into the same thing that i was running into uh which is the game crashes after like an hour and a half at least it's not your gpu exploding no, uh, it's uh, if you're using Pipewire, it keeps generating buffer underruns yeah. uh, until the process is using so much memory that it just crashes. Uh, so, yeah, disable the in-game voice chat, as in go to the options menu, go to that option and select disabled. It gets rid of the issue. <laughs> so, so, yeah, on, what, what, on, the, on the topic, though. Do you, right. do, you keep, uh, do you keep voice chat enabled in games Fuck like no. at all? No, like if you I'm just disable company, it. Like, right? like, yeah, like w- once you're done on uninstalling Pipewire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still using Pipewire, and you um, don't have a choice. You're on KDE. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not like you can remove it. Your fucking uh, desktop's tied to a sound server, like GNOME. Like brilliant move. Uh, no, it's not. KDE uses Phonon, which is pretty much independent from also pulse jack yes yeah <laughs> try to but yeah no, the, from the, uh <laughs> with whalen with whalen with uh, yeah because i'm 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 on okay, yeah, with, yeah, pulse uh, and... with, with, with whalen i mean watch it all right, all right, we'll right, watch it tell you to get mark... fucked <laughs> yeah let's, let's move that goalpost right. um so let's take a look at a couple of titles uh yeah i don't know what uh xii remastered is i don't think you did either uh it, yeah I, I i okay so i i saw the cover and it was uh it was like originally released on like the xbox or the playstation 2 or something like that it was a it was like a first person shooter it was like highly stylized like comic book style yeah yeah and, and, um, and did the pal whenever you did like a punch on an enemy and had like, uh, the, like the, the the batman like the comic yeah. scene thing i never heard of it the so, headshot. Yeah. 
I, I really have... like the original 13. It, it, that was a li- fun FPS. <laughs> Up next, yeah, New World. I, I, no, don't give it to a It's a multimedia online role playing game. Helldivers 2. I, I, I've seen the uh, love affair, the whatever the uh, Linux Gamecast Discord Balmer peak of that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they, <laughs> they find the game and everybody plays it for a week and you never see it again because um, everybody jumps in the after shows and for voice chat. Uh, Doom 2016, which I probably would have bought if it would, you know, if it was today and Doom 2016 came out, I probably would have bought that myself. And of course, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which I do believe I did buy. Uh, no, we probably got review copies for that, don't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, uh, no, may, well, we, maybe not the last one. I think we got uh, the first I don't two. think for Shadow of the Tomb Raider we got review right. copies. <laughs> but um, Well, and we like, bought it and, on and release that, for Linux, which was a bit later after. Right. Uh, and, 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 and I wonder if Stars bought that uh, for Windows as well. Because there, there was that brief minute where it's like, well, this thing runs about as well in Proton as the other one. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, because we were waiting on that because it was like, over a year before we got the uh, Linux version, and I remember talking on a show because when Proton had come out, mm-hmm. uh, I had tried it, and it wasn't quite at 60, but it was like it was running at like 50, you know, struggling. And I was like, that, I think that week episode, I was like, Farrell's getting out of the Linux gaming business. Like, they're, like this is, yeah, yeah, lo and behold, right? Yeah, but, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nostradamus stone. <laughs> What do we got up next? Up next, we got some mail from Nader's 4064. Nader's. Uh, and they say, before getting my Steam Deck, I intended to put Windows on it. Two years after getting it, I have Garuda Linux only on my desktop. Lol, 1.5 years, not a distro I bra- to brag I use, but it's really easy to use for a Windows gamer who has, never, who has ever modded a game. And Microsoft does not own my desktop anymore. Well, congratulations. Good. I went, yeah. <laughs> m- m- like, calls. legitimately I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. I threw that in because uh, f- somebody admitting that they bought the Steam Deck by Windows on, put Windows on it and went, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no, this is a terrible idea. Because so, uh, so, Someone made our correct decision. Dude, right? well, I mean, think about it. Even we were talking about it at first. We were like, we're going to give these people a lot of shit because, you know, it made sense. You're like, oh, yeah, it's Steam Deck. I put Windows on it, play my games, and they found out, how, like, how Windows was on handheld. So I'm like... No. And as it turns out, sound didn't work on Linux on the Steam Deck. It's like the reverse Linux meme altogether. <laughs> you well, know, I'm well, sure well, Valve stock, stock took Linux. no small part in kind of nudge, nudge, wink, wink, especially in the early days to make sure the Windows experience wasn't, they weren't going out of their way to help you. Yeah. yeah. A- AMD <laughs> produced some drivers. We're making them available. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your AMD drivers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, uh. So, uh, what what was distribution he was running? Uh, Garuda. Garuda. Oh, which is, I uh, which is uh, Arch derivative. <laughs> yes, it is. I was uh, helping somebody on the interfacing Linux forums. Uh, they were running Garuda, and I had to look that up. Uh, is based on Arch? Is it like better than Arch? Mm-hmm. Probably. I, th- I think it's like uh, Manjaro, where it's one of those like it's, we, uh, we we have your Arch. Yeah, I read like the blurb, but it didn't sell me anything. It was like more modern and updated. I'm like it's already Arch. It, homie. It's Arch with uh, really whooshy neon themes applied to it basically <laughs> ah so it's KDE. I mean, like, yeah i mean i'm, I'm, I'm there's I'm also a gnome version it. but uh, i think the default one's kitty yeah mm. <laughs> huh all right i mean good on you man and yeah you don't have to mod off, run modded game modded games under Linux, but it's been a pain in the ass since the 90s dude so i'm glad that's clearing up but yeah enjoy it and uh yeah no microsoft on your desktop anymore all right not gonna say anything about all those uh microsoft laptops you got laying around there all right Huh? that's right <laughs> i'll just take care ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it but before we get out of here we need to thank a couple of people Ooh. up to and including pedro do you got the twitch dashboard dashboard open did we get anybody that uh give us an old subaru while we were talking well let's change tabs uh someone give us a follow oh, thank you not follow. a sub uh there was uh okay ooh, north ranger north ranger did a uh Resubscription, twenty months has been subscribed for twenty months about an thank hour you. ago. So thank you, North, North Ranger. <laughs> Ranger, and I want to thank personally our latest patron, King Bonge. King Bonge. King Bonge. Bon Jovi. Yep. How dare you? That's his Christian name. 
It's, it's, it, listen, it's my life, and it's now or never. All right. I'm not gonna Shut up, me. Dragon Ball Z movie <laughs> video. All right. He has joined us at a very illustrious level of Chicago kicks ass. That is Woo! right. <laughs> I want thank, thank you, you very for that. much, King Bunge. As a patron, you do get access, like I said, to the highest quality versions of these shows, commercial free for your download, or you can just watch them streaming online. You get the pre pre super shows, in, which is a separate podcast we do before the show. It's what passes for our production meeting, live and uncut versions. You can't make the live show, but you want it in an MP3. We get you covered. We also got the video versions available a week later for everybody patron or not on our youtube uncut channel go check that out um yeah we got amazon wish list head over to one teamcast.com you too can watch me stumble through one of these letters you can watch jordan do the same along with pedro uh, if you send us anything off that we appreciate it and uh i think that we got shirts we got merch go check that out everything's under the support tab at linuxgamecast.com and we appreciate it for um you know, we just get to do this shit. Like, it's not polished by any... <laughs> it's like a uh, I, I think we've we've cultivated a, an audience that kind of enjoys the jank a it's, little bit. Uh, a little uh, bit too much the, sometimes. The, the, the jank is charming, <laughs> right? That, that, that's what we're going with. Well, you know, as much fun as it is, I'd like not having to worry about, like, can we or can we not talk? Like, have, ever having the discussion of, like, what's marketable? Yes. To, oh, yeah. oh, 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 what, what can we talk about that we won't get demonetized? Or what, even like, how what's can we popular? better appeal to the eighteen to thirty four <laughs> right. demos? Right, like Dude, the um, only people who matter. Yeah, we're we're just gonna show you get up repos and shit. <laughs> we're us. We'll and always mailing be us. lists. And thank oh, you so much, so much mailing lists for letting us be us. All right, time to roll some credits. Stick around. Watch your name in lights. But before we do that. We got to cue that music. Get in touch with me each and every week. If you want, I'm on the social medias. I'm on all. I'm on the X, baby. I'm on the Ys, and I'm on the Zs. At Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm at Vin on uh, Mastodon, mass.linuxgamecast.com. And of course, and of course, Blue Sky. Just type in Vin, you'll find me. I'm not Waldo, but you can still find me on Mastodon up, at frojo.mass.linuxgamecast.com, <laughs> frojo at bluesky.app, and at the Burning Fool on Twitter. Yeah, there we go. And you can find me on at, at accounted for uh, at mass.linuxgamecast.com with the actual number four. Uh, yeah, no, uh, follow me. And if you share interesting stuff, I'll follow you back. I, I got that policy too, man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Usually whenever I see like a thing, person followed you. Ooh, neat. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 let's, go, let's go you go creep on, creep on their shit. And you're like, yeah. all right. Then they creep like, is like, oh, you, you post some yeah. memes. You post some. Then, then like, you get the message. You're like, why don't you follow this? Because you don't post anything interesting. Yeah, like, I, 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 yeah I, I do not get follow for follow. Like, I don't want just nothing but Time spam. some credits. Oh, uh, we we are in the kink, man. I we are the kink. Just... You were merely, <laughs> yeah. You 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 merely adopted the kink. I was pulled out of someone's asshole, man. Oh, I'm like Lemmy Winks. We gotta thank our advisors, Omega and Arthur, and we gotta thank our executive producers, Barb Ram Scott, Atomic Ass Mike, drummer Tomas, Hakim, Dave, Ishep, Ian, Kerducky, Haplo, and one two three four five six, and our little Nicky fans, Kong Bonge, Glorious Eggy, Empty, and Super Desto. And the Sea Monsters with no Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Darkwing, System, D, Dazzing, Joe, DeCresny, and Ogi One. With the Death Notes, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, Krim, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom, Do That Wad, Stephen, B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Pebble, M, Fox, Dog, Svine, Jalo, and Piper. And I get them all this time. <laughs> Thank you to all of our fine, upstanding cannibals, all of our chairlings about getting the cannibals down real quick. Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux Nero, Aldi, the Snockless, Johnny, Shep, Gametron, you know, DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Dev, and Kai, Jorai. And you are all truly, truly wonderful. Remember, it's all about the same family. <laughs> it's all about Pentiums. What you want to do? I know the words to that song, man. <laughs> Dynify, everyone. See you next week. Nine to five at Hewlett Packard. Five dudes. <laughs>